How's it going everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things Marvel and everything relating to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And today we have some news about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and how WandaVision is going to connect to it. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and WandaVision are two of the most anticipated projects of Phase 4, especially since the two of them are going to connect together. And we'll see Wanda become the Scarlet Witch for the very first time in the MCU and she'll play a big Big role in Doctor Strange 2. But as it turns out, she's not going to be alone, as two other people who just so happen to be mutants in the comics are going to be joining her in Doctor Strange 2 as well. And this gives us a little bit of an idea of what's going to take place in the WandaVision series, and we'll break it all down in this video. But first, big congratulations to last week's Hawkeye Funko Pop winner, Ivan Pasquale Del Pobil. Sorry if I butchered your name. But email me in the email in my description and we'll get you your Funko Pop. And for this week's giveaway, I'm giving away a Gladiator Hulk Funko Pop. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Also, I'm giving away five Funko Pops on my Instagram and Twitter for the next four weeks. So be sure to follow me on there as well to enter. So to dive right into this report, it's coming from mcucosmic.com. And the report says that we've known for a long time that Wiccan and Speed are going to be making their MCU debut in the WandaVision series. And we've also known that Wanda is going to be making her way into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And apparently, according to a very reliable source, she's going to be bringing her twin boys with her. So Wiccan and Speed, the two mutant boys of Wanda and Vision, are going to be characters in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, this means means a couple of different things. One thing is that they're going to progressively age in the WandaVision series. In the brief big game TV spot that they showed during the Super Bowl, Marvel gave us a tiny little glimpse into the WandaVision series and we did in fact see her twin boys, but they were infants. However, in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, they're going to be teenagers. But this is not going to be because the WandaVision series is going to take place over the next 15 or so years. What's actually going to happen is that in the WandaVision series, her boys are going to age very progressively. And according to what we've heard, we're going to see essentially three or so different versions of them. We'll see them as babies, then we'll see them around the age of 10 to 12, and then we'll see them as teenagers, and that's when they'll go into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And we know this because of the casting calls for the twin boys. The casting calls asked for different age groups, and that's how we know what age groups to expect. So in the WandaVision series, we'll see them age very quickly. Now the second thing that What's pretty important is that the two of them joining Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness makes three new teenage heroes because America Chavez is going to be in the movie as well. So that makes three Young Avengers in one movie, making it pretty obvious that the Young Avengers are going to be a pretty big priority for Marvel Studios moving forward. Two of the other Young Avengers are getting their very own Disney Plus shows, Miss Marvel and Kate Bishop, as it's been confirmed that the Hawkeye series is really going to be about Hawkeye training a new Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. We then have Cassie Lang, Ant-Man's daughter, who was supposed to come in and be Stature as well. Then there have been rumors of Hulkling appearing in the WandaVision series and King the Conqueror appearing in the Loki series. This would all perfectly set up the Young Avengers and the fact that all of these characters are rumored to come in Phase 4 means that we could see an official Young Avengers team come together in Phase 5. After all, as reported, we're going to have three of the Young Avengers in one film in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So it looks like Doctor Strange and America Chavez are going to be getting some help from Wanda and her boys in their movie. So let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Are you excited to see Wiccan and Speed join their mother in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? And are you excited for the Young Avengers to come to the MCU? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of the latest MCU news. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.